Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background, feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm introducing the new BMW iX eSUV. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it'll crush the competition or not. Oh, and one more thing before we start. My neighbor recently bought a BMW, a Volkswagen, two Fords, a Toyota, and a Chrysler. I think he's got the car owner virus. Okay, now back to the video. A large SUV with an original style. 100% high-end electric produced by the German car manufacturer BMW from the end of 2021. The BMW iX comes from the iNext concept. It offers two versions, each with a different engine and battery and a range of up to 385 miles of range. The large family electric SUV was unveiled on November 11, 2020. It joins the range of BMW SUVs two years after the huge X7. It is the manufacturer's fourth electric vehicle and the BMW i3 is produced since 2013. Then the i4 four-door coupe and the iX3 SUV also marketed in 2021. Design and Engineering Like other newer BMW models, the vehicle is based on the rear-wheel drive platform, which the manufacturer calls Cluster Architecture, or CLAR, which allows different types of propulsion to be installed. It's combined here with modular electric components in the driveline of a BEV PHEV construction kit such as the BMW iX3 and the BMW i4. A new architecture is not expected at BMW until 2025, which will then focus on battery electric platforms but will continue to install combustion engines. To help increase range, for example, an aluminium frame and carbon fiber reinforced plastic are used for the body. This means that the mass is not greater than that of the shorter 19cm Mercedes-Benz EQC. The glass doors are frameless. On request, an electrochromic panoramic glass roof can be installed, and the light transmission of which can be adapted to external conditions. The iNext concept was given a foretaste at the 2018 Paris Motor Show showing 90% of the lines of the production model. It presented unconventional lines in the tradition of the i3 or i8. Presented in its final form in November 2020 and then unveiled commercially in June 2021, the BMW iX inaugurates the largest BMW grille ever, completely closed. It allows, like other body parts, to lower the coefficient of drag CX to 0.25. The template is that of an X5 approximately 4.90 meters long and 2 meters wide, but for a height of X6, that's 1.70 meters, as well as 3 meters of wheelbase. Note that the Sport Pack provides more aggressive rocker panels. The charging hatch is located on the rear right side for Type 2, that's AC and combo DZ sockets. When you open the iX's hatch, you'll see the exposed CFRP shell, as well as inset tail lights that light up when the tailgate is lifted for safety. The iX's smooth skin with narrow horizontal lighting components textured surface on the false front air intakes and around a logo that doubles as a windshield fluid inlet. It drapes over the lightweight skeleton. Yes, the iX has that grill, but rather than concentrating on its size or appearance, consider this. The grill has a polyurethane coating that protects it from harm and allows it to self-repair. When kept at room temperature, BMW claims that self-healing process takes roughly 24 hours, but minor rock chips and scratches should practically fade away. Among other things, the iX stands out with its extremely narrow headlights and a huge, strangely compressed grille. The design has been discussed a lot in the media. BMW first responded to the critics with a commercial citing the critics and then on November 16, 2020 on Twitter with, OK, Boomer, what's your reason for not changing? About five days later, BMW apologized for this response. Interior The interior is even more unusual for the brand. With its hexagonal steering wheel, its curved double-screen housing the iDrive system coming out of a dashboard, reduced to its simple expression, the spirit is refined. The other bias is ecology, with three ambiences. The standard atelier finish offers a rather sober appearance. The loft version brings 50% recycled polyester as well as different colors on the center console and the loft finish is adorned with leather. The 12.3 inch digital instrumentation is complemented by a large 14.9 inch multimedia display in the center of the console. The car has a Harman Kardon sound system developed jointly with Bowers and Wilkins. For a neat picture in the interior, the number of switches has been halved, some of which are hidden, others can be controlled by voice. 
the speakers are not visible. Blue, bronze, and gray tones dominate the gauge clusters contemporary styles. You may put up massive gauges, a minimalist display, or have it focus primarily on a navigation map carried across from the primary infotainment screen, and the screen is completely programmable with different widgets for multimedia or vehicle data. On that point, if you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, the map data from those smartphone mirroring applications is now incorporated into the gauge cluster, allowing you to see third-party map data in the same manner that BMW's inbuilt navigation software allows. However, you'll need to utilize BMW's native system if you want to use the fancy augmented reality overlays that Mercedes-Benz offers in the MBUX software. The surfaces are also used for heating. The instrument panel display is slightly curved. Since the central tunnel can be removed by the electric motor, there's a relatively large foot space at the rear. The new iX's cabin is its single most impressive feature. This is the greatest BMW interior I've ever seen, and it's completely different from what you'd find in other premium vehicles. It's spacious, airy, full of light, and tastefully put out. The two-tire center console looks fantastic, and the fact that it's not attached to the dash contributes to the open airy sense. The iX features a space to charge your smartphone on the lower shelf, and the general console design is one of the reasons why the iX looks so similar to the i3. Performance. Two versions constitute the launch offer of the electric SUV. They are all based on two synchronous motors without rare earths at the front and at the rear, providing a four-wheel drive transmission. The engines are significantly quieter than those of the BMW i3, 28 dB. The Access version, BMW iX, X-Drive 40 has an output of 240 kW. The other, more powerful, has 385 kW. The torque is 630 Nm for the base version and it climbs to 765 Nm for the X-Drive 50 version. We know that the SUV bends 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5 seconds on the X-Drive 50, just as fast as the X5 with a V8 engine and it takes 6 seconds in X-Drive 40. Note that an M60 version of the iX will be released next year with an output of an impressive 440 kW. The iX utilizes the same lift-related dampers that BMW debuted on the G20 Generation 3 Series, which includes additional hydraulic damping for smoother bump rebound. Optional self-leveling air suspension adds even more suppleness to the ride. The iX X-Drive 50 boasts what's known as through-the-road all-wheel drive, thanks to its dual motor configuration However, the front motor can be shut off when the power isn't needed, making the entire drivetrain more efficient. No, you won't be able to push the iX into a completely rear-wheel drive mode during fast driving. This isn't an M5, but the AWD system's fully variable torque distribution should make the iX a nice companion in the rain. Put some winter tires on and you're ready to go. The consumption announced in the WLTP cycle is generally similar between the two versions, although slightly higher for the more powerful version it's between 19.8 and 23 kWh, 62 miles against 19.4 to 22.5 kWh for the X-Drive 40. Battery life. Each of the variants has a different battery. The iX X-Drive 40 is satisfied with a gross capacity of 76 kWh for a range announced at 263 miles in the WLTP cycle. The iX X-Drive 50 relies on a 111.5 kWh package to push the range to 391 miles. BMW was keen to source the cobalt and lithium in Morocco and Australia, thus avoiding environmental or social problems. In addition, the efficiency of the model is improved through adaptive recovery, single pedal operations, and a heat pump. These different battery sizes also provide distinct maximum charging power. The first peaks at 140 kW, the second at 200 kW. Both can recover 80% of their energy in 40 minutes in direct current. In alternating current, the onboard charger accepts up to 7.4 kW in single phase and also 11 kW in three phase. The iX is also designed for level three autonomous driving. Compared to previous models, the higher computing power can process data volumes around 20 times larger. The sensors are more powerful and compatible with the 5G cellular standard. Much of the required sensor technology is located behind what is called the bean, price and model range. Production takes place at the factory in Dingolfen, Germany. This site produces the battery cells via green electricity and even aluminum via solar energy produced on site. The model will officially enter the catalog in November 2021. 
Impressive and luxurious, the electric SUV is not the most affordable. In pre-orders from March 2021 on the official website, it starts at $84,200 in the United States, including $995 for destination but excluding any federal or local tax incentives. The BMW iX M60 model is estimated to even display a six-figure price with $119,638. You can add the Driving Assistance Professional Package for $1,900, which includes the Active Driving Assistant Pro, which combines adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist to make your highway journeys much smoother. When you select this option, you'll also get a surround view camera system, which is always useful. This wraps up my review of the BMW iX. Let me know what you're thinking of. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.